What's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grid Zombies. Today, we're in Call of Duty World War II. We're going to be taking a look at the hidden challenges. The character in particular for the challenge is going to be the Hunter. And I'm going to be showing you guys a glitch that's within the game right now in the pub. This is going to be the pub glitch. So drop a like on this video if you go on to learn something. And subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. And if anything, anything at all sparks an idea with you, hit me up over on Twitter. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. Now, I did host a poll. I hosted one over on YouTube, the community tab. And the results are in. A lot of you guys wanted to see a glitch. So that's what I'm bringing you here today. Over on Twitter... People seem to want new Easter eggs for the Final Reich. Those are hard to come by. So but what I can bring clarity on right now, at least, is the special hidden characters. There was a new game update that was pushed out. This is not an actual patch. We'll have that coming very shortly. However, right now we're dealing with game updates being pushed out. More stabilization factors with Winter Siege, and that's kind of what we're looking at. There was one in particular that dealt with Twitch Prime. So all everyone that was having problems getting this Bomb Voyage weapon camo if you linked your Amazon account with your Twitch Prime account and then link that further on to your Call of Duty account, that is what gave you access to this camo. So I already covered that in a video, but there's a little rundown in case you're new to that information. There was a Zombies camo specifically out there called Bomb Voyage. But we're going to be taking a look at these treasure zombies. How do we spawn this many in at one time and basically takes the place and slot of every single zombie on the map once you get the sucker cracking. You're going to want to go to Pack Punch. That's the first thing you're going to want to do. Unlock Pack Punch, get your weapons, Pack Punch before you do anything else. And I'm specifically talking about the salt mines because that's what we're going to be referring to next. There are two triggers to spawning the very first treasure zombie and that is unlocking Pack a Punch completely and the salt mines. Okay, so once you get those two done, you need to head up immediately before you end the next round to the glitch spot. Now the glitch spot is in the pub. I told you about this, but we're going to show you guys in full glory what's going on. So we're going to head towards the pub, but on the way there, you know, you're going to want to get prepared. You're going to want to make sure you got all three weapons because you can't leave after you get up there, right? So remember before you had to die in order to get into the pub action? I had told you it's a jump in glitch. I showed you guys this in a video beforehand, but it was very brief. All you do is you get up into this area where it's very glitchy, right? And uh, it sort of fits you in there. But then it kind of glitches back and forth and wiggles. You just jump. Jump and move forward, and that pushes you right in. Okay, so what we're looking for now, because we open the salt mine and pack punch, salt mine secondary, okay? That's what's going to actually prompt this and spawn him in. And this can happen on the same round. You don't have much time to be up there, so you can pull this off solo like I did just there, but that's how it's got to be done. Otherwise, two-player, you can have somebody up here already, and the other person does a salt mine and gets here right away, okay? But you need to have... No one can be slacking. You can't be slacking if you're doing this. you got to be quick. But as for recommendations, absolutely the 1911s. You're going to need to get those pack punched. Get your pistols pack punched first. I'd say that's the biggest primary goal you have before you unlock the salt mines because once you do that you gotta go you gotta get in this glitch spot in the pub get up here because how you're gonna trigger that one treasure zombie there is you're gonna need to go a few rounds go like three or four rounds but there's this trick I learned that most people aren't gonna teach you and that's because if you aren't getting your results you need to spawn the zombie back and forth and there's two sides to this pub over on the left here and over on the right, okay, and imagine the center line in the middle, the divider, as where it's going to switch spawns, switching that uh, treasure zombie over from one spawn to the other. And as you do that back and forth, it's going to glitch it, and that's what you're looking for. Next thing you know, there's jolt drops all over the place, and that is your sign that you can drop down successfully, and there will be these treasure zombies all over the place, the entire game. It's now been glitched. Every zombie is replaced with a treasure zombie. And just go to town with your 1911s. If you can, have a fully packed super. This moment, pop that son of a bee and make it rain. The hidden challenge for the hunter is called On the Hunt. And you specifically have to obtain Zombie Hunter Part A, B, C, D, E. All of those from the treasure zombies in the Final Reich. So whichever ones that you're missing... If you go to town on this for like four or five minutes, you're going to get every piece that you need because they are spread out 
between all of these. That's why the RNG luck while you're killing them every time in each game isn't giving you the one that you're missing. It's because it's crazy how some of these are more rare than others. But the way that Call of Duty described these special characters, they actually had a tweet on this and it said, After the events in Middleburg, the Buru has some new recruits. How many of the secret characters have you unlocked so far? So the Buru is the MFAA, the Monuments Men, and they have new recruits. And I find that interesting because these people are also trying to help retrieve the stolen art and they're part of the team but they're not main characters but it's interesting it leaves it kind of open-ended for sledgehammer to take it whatever direction they want and I'm interested to see if in DLC 1 we're gonna have other special characters or secret characters hidden challenges that are coming with DLC in the future I'm not sure if there's gonna be more added I actually hope there is because it's actually a really fun idea and concept to be earning these challenges and getting special characters. We don't really have customization yet. I know everybody wants it. We also want a new PvP mode and a lot of people said I was crazy to suggest Team Deathmatch. Uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. I think it's a great idea and I think they need to run with it but Sledgehammer will probably not take this on full head. Instead they'll focus on introducing these special characters throughout the DLC season. I think if we do see uh, more of a PvP mode at all, it's going to come with Treyarch's next game. And that's what my video was about yesterday. Not a lot of people saw it. It did get demonetized. And the crappy thing is when that happens, everyone who subscribed to me doesn't all get to see my video. The only way to actually make sure that you do is to activate the bell icon. And if you have that bell icon activated, then you'll become part of the notification squad and you'll get it pushed straight to your cell phone. That's ultimately the goal of being subscribed to my channel is I want you to get that push notification so if you could help me help you then uh, activate that bell icon and every one of the uploads that I have for you will be pushed out and you'll know when whenever it drops so I hope uh, we can have that relationship someday that's uh, something I hope to share with each and every one of you guys so we can uh, spread the news and patch notes coming up for zombies so I'll catch you guys in the next one violent out